All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to get gems in the game and gold as well. Um, I'm not going to put that in the title, but like, you get like 2.5k gold every time you do this. Um, and it takes like five minutes to do. Um, I'll show you all my gems now that I have. This is just from like 20 minutes of farming, three light gems, one insignia, one fire. This is literally all of this is from 20 minutes of farming, no joke. All right, so basically you're going to want to have all you need for this is a Mondo ring. Like you literally just need a Mondo ring and either a friend, like if you can do it solo, that's fine. But I would rececommend having a friend just in case you die and it doesn't despawn. All right, yeah, just in case you die, um, basically what you're going to want in doing is you're going to want to farm uh, old far but with a Mondo ring on. Basically what happens is when you kill old far uh, with a Mondo ring on, or even it works with a champion's medal as well, but I'd recommend a, um, what's it called? A uh, Mondo ring. Um, but basically, every time you kill him, he has a guaranteed gem chance. Like, he guaranteed drops a gem every single time. So, I'm going to be showing you, like, how easy it is to kill now. Um, especially if you have, like, a blood chalice. Um, so, yeah, like, yeah, this is exactly what I'd recommend to doing it, friend, because it, it will, like, two shot you, basically. So, you're going to want to be careful of that. Um, but pretty much killing him gives you a gem every single time. This is how I like managed to get a blood gem extremely fast. Like it took me years, like like literally it took me like like a week of farming to get a blood gem because I was hella unlucky with it. I had to do like 20 big irons and I still didn't get a single one, which is very, very depressing. But luckily I killed this guy and I got a blood gem very, very easily. The only thing you have to worry about is obviously parrying his attacks, but you'll get used to it the more you do it. As you can see, my friend just died, and luckily I'm still alive, so he will still get a drop if he did enough damage. This is exactly why I'd recommend doing your friends, because it is so easy to die against this guy. He does so much damage. See, I died, but it's not going to matter if I die, because I can literally run back there before my friend dies, and it won't despawn, which is absolutely perfect. As you can see, my friend's full HP. Um, if you guys want a build showcase on this build that I'm using, uh, I can solo Mondo Ring with, like, I can solo um, uh, Mondo Old Fart on this build. Uh, that's how overpowered it is. Uh, but right now, I'm just trying to kill it as fast as possible. I'm not like really bothering too much. I'm um, just like, I just want to showcase it for the video. There we go. And there we go. Magic gem, easy, six, uh, secret sport, all that shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? But yeah, no, nah, you get a, you get a guaranteed drum, drum every every time you kill it. And you also get 2.5k gold. Sorry if I sound a bit dumb right now. It's just like, I've been farming this for like, like half an hour now. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of brain dead and I'm also wearing a mushroom on my head. That makes me more brain dead. But yeah, if you guys want me to showcase this build, it's like absolutely unkillable, like almost unkillable. Like the only way I can die is if like I'm blinded and he manages to land like three hits on me because like I can't see what the fuck. Like how am I supposed to parry when it's blinded, bro? They need to remove the blind feature from the game. Uh, but yeah, I hope this guy, this video helps you out, guys. I'll, I'll recommend doing it with like three or four friends if you're not confident with it. But if you're confident, do it by yourself. Um, and if you have another friend that's also confident, uh, obviously, you know, do it with two people. Uh, yeah, so I hope this video helps you guys out.